The Ottawa River is not only home to some world-class bass, walleye, pike and musky fishing, but it's one of eastern Canada's main freshwater arteries. In fact, the river is so big and wide at points that it's often mistaken as a lake. But there's no mistaking the Ottawa River for a lake where it narrows and forms a series of impressive rapids. About an hour west of Ottawa, Canada's capital city, you can find a particularly wild section of whitewater called the Rocher Fendu section. This section is known internationally for having world-class whitewater rafting and kayaking, and it's here that Jim hooks up with world champion whitewater kayakers, become obsessed kayak anglers, Brendan Mark and Ken Whiting. My name is Ken Whiting, and uh, we're here in my backyard on the Ottawa River. This is the Rocher Fondue section. Ooh, where'd we go? The prevalent activity in this area is whitewater rafting, but it's also got some fantastic fishing here too, but not many people do it here because of access. It's not like it's hard to get on the river. Tons of access points, public access points, but it's, uh, it's hard to access these bays because you need to either portage around rapids or else uh, be willing to run the rapids. I've been a kayaker for about 15 years, uh, competitive uh, on the national and world scale for about eight years. Stopped doing that about four years ago. And I've been a fisherman since my first fish trip to a, a cottage that we have in Lake De Mun, um, when I was about two and a half months old. What we have planned for Jim is uh, taking him down through all the sections that we fish but he's never paddled whitewater in his life, so it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see how he fares out. I'm sure he's got great balance through raking through surf, but there's also dealing with whitewater, you've got currents coming in from the sides, um, and you've got a lot of other elements that come into play when you're, when you're dealing with whitewater. So my background is whitewater kayaking. I started whitewater kayaking about 18 years ago or so. Uh, when I was, I, I was lucky, I got to start young. And, um, learned all about all about this river probably know the bottom of this river as well as anyone even without a fish finder just because spending so much time on this river so when I got into fishing it was uh, it was a huge advantage I, I just know the river so well I fish the you know the sections in between all the rapids so. and now it just it, it just grow into uh, where it's really fun and you sit on top kayaks back in their backyard in the Ottawa where there's no other fishermen really around because those access, it's all rapid lock, so the only really way you can get to it is by kayak. I'm right back where I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, I could be living with my parents if they didn't sell their house. <laughs> plan with Jim is to take him down through the two channels on the Otter River, the uh, main channel and the middle channel, uh, both high water, big volume, um, with great fishing spots all the way through. And uh, plan with Jim will be really to uh, keep an eye out for him and keep him out of too much trouble because he's bound to get into it when he's out there. Work him. Work him. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> the first wrap of the day is, it happens before the river splits into its two channels. Um, and that rapid's called McCoy's. And it, we knew it was the biggest water, the biggest rapid that, that uh, Jim was going to have to contend with. Uh, so we chose a, a, the most conservative line aside from portaging. And Jim was gung-ho, so uh, we watched a few rafts go through first and he saw people swim every which way through that raft and through the guts of it too. So in a way it was a confidence booster for him to say, you know what, I can swim through this thing, it doesn't look that bad. Oh sh <laughs> He came through beautifully. Great angle, great line. He actually did way better than, than I expected. I expected him to be upside down before he came through. And so he went over and swam. But he rallied, got back on the boat, held his paddle, rolled the boat upright, jumped back on. It, was, uh, it really was impressive how, how quick he got on it. He was, he was with it. And unfortunately, that's when he paddled right into the hole and he fell over into it. He's stuck in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Go get him, Jim! I didn't have my PFD on as tight as I should, and it got up over my head when I went in the water, and I just couldn't breathe. And I mean, I really 
I was scared. I mean, I'm not afraid to admit or too proud to admit that I was really scared. <laughs> Ken's got him. Nice rescue, Ken. Not out of yet. Ken's in it. Ken's Ken's no, no, they're okay. Luckily, Ken got up there, and I swear we could have seen that rescue happen. You know. 99 times out of 100, and it wouldn't have went as smoothly as it did. Two. I have no strength in the car. So. Okay, ready? I'm just gonna ride you. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I show my ass right now? Yeah, totally. It's great. You can get your breath back. That is extreme. That is such so gnarly, man. Those rapids are just. Good fun if you don't die. <laughs> what was amazing is he, he rallied. He, he got back on. Once he got caught his breath and chilled out for a while, he, uh, he got back in his boat and started fishing again. This truly is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. This, this, the Ottawa River. I mean, just these areas. I mean, we've been fishing all day today, caught a bunch of fish, haven't seen another person all day. And it's just absolutely beautiful, the rapids, the, the trees, um, it, it's gorgeous. So um, I would definitely, wouldn't hesitate to come back here and fish again, just because it's such a neat experience. And you know, like I said, it's that, that adrenaline rush of going through the rapids and then just great fishing. And right in front at the base of that, uh, that waterfall, you could sit there and fish. I mean, it's just, it's so exciting. It's so much fun, so much fun. And they're great fish too. And we've caught a lot of fish. I mean, these, these pike are really fun. They're sporty. I mean, they're not the, not the hardest fighting fish in the world until you get them next to the boat and you try to land them, and then they just go nuts, which is fun. <laughs> and then, you know, a lot of little bass. And... guys know the river so well and they they know water they know they're they're just incredible paddlers and I learned so much from them it's like it, it was almost too beautiful it, it, it couldn't be real all the trees and the rocks were in the exact right place you know it was just such an incredibly beautiful location It's, it's just, that's why I can't even say enough about it, just how much, how much fun this has been.
A fishing trip to the Ottawa just wouldn't be complete without a day spent hunting down the biggest, meanest freshwater fish in the world, the muskie. And there's no more enthusiastic muskie hunter than local Jamie Pastilli. Uh, we hit the Madawaska River system uh, just uh, outside of Arnprior. Let's see if we can find uh, Jim Sam's uh, little muskie. Hi, uh, my name is Jamie Pastilli. Uh, right now I'm uh, regional editor for Kayak Angler Magazine. I'm a kayak fishing maniac. Oh, I'm from uh, Ottawa, beautiful Barhaven, Ontario, heart of minivan land. About three years ago, at a uh, family cottage up uh, in the Bay of Quinney, the uh, motor died on the, on the boat, and the only boat available was a kayak, so I hopped in it and realized that I can get in some pretty skinny water and had a great time catching bass and things like that, and then it kind of evolved from there. Always out fishing, some of the best memories I have of being a kid were out being on the water with my father and wetting the line. Oh, that was a fish. Did you see that? I did. <laughs> I can feel something about to happen. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Tell me all the names you can remember of all the baits you've used today. Sledge, Suic, Bulldog, Shallow Invader, Depth Invader, Top Raider, Pacemaker, Zara Spook, Grim Reaper, Rob Day, Mr. J Special. Fog, hog wobbler, giant eel, double cowgirl. That's about it for today. 850 casts and uh, nothing. Muskies are known as the fish of a what? 1,000 casts. So we won't count those two. <laughs> We'll be in for a long night. Or actually 10,000 casts, depending where you are. It was a lot of throwing of a lot of really big lures for not a lot of catching. Not a lot of action. I can see where if you want to catch those fish, you gotta be really patient. With the sun dropping away and the time running short, the crew starts the long paddle back into shore, fooled once again by the mighty muskie. Jamie, however, decides to take one last cast. Turn the figure eight and it just... Lord, Lord, it's a rainy day. Spider soldier, my window bay. There's a dog out barking across the lake. Lord, Lord, it's a rainy day. Okay, can somebody go in my bag? In the back? Grab my bolt cutters. The red cutters. That's how we did it up here in Canada. Give me another one. Game on. Then right to the hospital. <laughs> Give me another one. The sun dropping away, Jamie hops into his car and rushes to the hospital to bandage his hand and to be with his wife for the delivery of their second child, while Jim hops on a plane back home to get ready for the next adventure.